Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be trying another viral lipstick. This one went absolutely viral on TikTok and from the moment I saw it, I knew I had to pick up this lipstick and do a video on it because it just looks so good. So today I'm going to be trying the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. So what's so cool about Clinique Black Honey is that it's actually been around for decades and that's something I did see on TikTok is that people were saying that their mothers use this lipstick and it's something that's just been around for a long time and it's kind of coming full circle and becoming very popular again. The Clinique founder Carol Phillips named it Black Honey because the texture of the gloss looked like a yummy gooey pot of honey and this was back in the 70s. And then it had its second breakthrough moment in 1989, which is when it became the almost lipstick in Black Honey that you can still purchase today. It's not quite a lipstick, not quite a gloss. Its texture is more like a balm you can easily layer, which sounds right up my alley. I love a tinted balm more than anything, something that's just easy to throw on, adds a little tint to the lips, and just kind of is a your lips but better shade. Transparent pigment glides on a sheer glossy slip of lightweight color. Emollient rich formula gives lips a sleek, moist finish. Cult classic Black Honey is famous for its chameleon-like ability to flatter all skin tones, yet look different on everyone. And that is something that really intrigued me about this lipstick, the fact that it kind of just adjusts to your skin's perfect shade. Don't be fooled by the way it looks in the tube. The sheer formula is part of its mystique. It's also very forgiving. You don't even need a mirror to put it on, which is my favorite type of product. Okay, so that was a little history about Clinique Black Honey. And I was surprised I could get my hands on it because um, on the Clinique website, it says it's always sold out. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this iconic, very skinny, very long lipstick component. And the reviews on the Clinique website were very hit or miss when it came to the packaging. Some people said, I love the packaging, like it's classic. I love like how it's so unique. And some people were like, what the heck is this lipstick packaging? Like it's so long. So this is what it looks like. It literally looks like black honey. It's a very dark plum kind of color. I'm very excited about this. It doesn't really have a smell, which I know a lot of people prefer. I don't really mind, you know, if my lip products have a scent or not. So I'm just going to apply it. In the camera, it's coming off a lot brighter, I would say, but it's like a very plummy fall lip color on me, like looking in the mirror. So I just turn the brightness down a little bit and I feel like that's a little more true to how the color actually looks, but it's just so different. Like it's, it's almost like a plum fall lip color. I just think it's so perfect for fall. Like I'm going to be wearing this every single day of fall. It was so easy to apply. It's so comfortable and nourishing. I really, really like this. I'm gonna try to build it up just to see like how pigmented I can get it. It's just so comfortable. Okay, so that's with like another layer. It did get darker. I'm obsessed with this. I definitely see why this went viral. I see why there's so much hype around it. It's like taking a tinted lip balm to the next level. It just has, I don't know, the color is just so like sophisticated and so perfect for a more elevated everyday lip. So I'm just gonna swatch this on my hand just to see what it looks like. I just did three swipes back and forth. So that's how it looks on my hand very sheer. So I'm gonna go take a look in my lip product collection and see if there's anything that's kind of close to this shade. The thing that's different about this though is it might not look like this exact shade on everybody. Like on the Clinique website, they had models with different skin tones and the shade looked slightly different on everybody. So I'm gonna try to find like dupes for this shade in my collection right now, but it's gonna look different on everybody. So that's what makes this lipstick so cool. So I'm here with my sister and I just wanted to show you how the lipstick can look different on different like lips, different skin tones, I guess. We put on like the same amount 
and hers is like a little more i feel like it's not as dark on me yeah it's not as dark on you and it's like a little orangey i would say but yeah i just wanted to show you how it looked on someone else thank you for <laughs> guys for coming in this review okay so i did some swatching i think the closest thing that i have would be the Revlon Glass Shine Lipstick in the shade Rum Raisin. And this isn't exact, the one in Rum Raisin is um, this one right here. I feel like color-wise, they're kind of similar. Formula-wise, not really. I mean, they're both like balmy lipsticks, but this one is just more of a lip balm, I would say. This one's more on the lipstick side. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and I'm going to test both of these out together. So it removed really easily and it doesn't look like it stains. So I'm gonna go ahead and do black honey on the top. And then the Revlon Rum Raisin lipstick on the bottom. Yeah, so similar look, definitely. You can see the colors slightly different, but it is a similar look, I would say. I mean, is this a dupe? I don't know. I think it's a very similar look and the shade is kind of similar, but in terms of how they feel, it is slightly different. Like I said, the Clinique one is more like a balm and this one is more like a lipstick. How it looks is kind of how the formula is. It's more of just a lipstick that's glossy, so. Okay, I just put the Clinique Black Honey on again, and to wrap this up, my final thoughts, I think it's unlike anything I have in my collection. I think it's so cool. I love products that you can just throw on and you know it's gonna look good every single time. So I wanted to give you guys a little update on the lasting power of the lipstick, because I know a lot of you will ask questions about that and I put this on maybe like 45 minutes to an hour ago and as you can see it's quite faded but it's still a really beautiful color so it's not something that's going to last a really long time as it is at the end of the day like a lip balm but um, it just fades really nicely so it's like not something you have to worry about it's not something you have to like worry about fixing or anything like that it just kind of fades really naturally and really nicely so just wanted to give you guys a little update on that yeah i think it's amazing i really think it's worth the hype let me know if you guys have tried this lipstick also let me know if like your mom has used this lipstick before and if it's something you've known about before it became viral on tiktok i'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to it down below if you want to check it out yourself but i think it's safe to say i'm going to use this a lot this fall i feel like it's the perfect lipstick to just throw in your bag and use whenever you just want something on your lips that is going to kind of tie together your whole look. I feel like it's so perfect because it's nourishing and it'll give you just that tint of color that is just going to elevate your whole look. And I feel like it just makes you look more put together. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>